What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the M79 and how I actually got this weapon gold in multiplayer for Black Ops Cold War. Now in today's video I'm also going to be going over the camo glitches and everything like that people have been experiencing and also one of the hardest challenges to actually complete for this weapon in order to get it gold and how I successfully did that. So before we get to that, I want you guys to subscribe if you're new right here to drop that thumbs up today's video. And then I want you to also comment down below and tell me what you think about the M79, tell me what you think about the Cold War, what you think about Dark Matter, all that stuff. And I want to know if you guys are personally going to be grinding it yourselves. But as much once again, let's get right into this. So by far, this is one of the most challenging weapons to get gold in Black Ops Cold War. Now, the first little set of camos is really simple. You get 30 kills to actually unlock every little bit of it for this category. Moving on to the second part, it is getting 50 long shots. Now, this one took me literally half a day to get done. One of the best maps to actually grind this out on, it would my, in my opinion, would be Garrison. Not only just that, do not be using this weapon in core. If you use this in core, I'm telling you, you're going to be getting a lot of hit markers. Not only just that, I'm telling you, run hardcore for this. Because if you run hardcore, you can get easy multi-kills. You can get easy long shots. And it's always a one-shot kill in hardcore, even if they are running flag jacket. Next thing off, this one is getting three kills without dying. A lot of people look at the ammo count for this and they see one and one in the reserve. But if you're running scavenger, you can actually resupply your ammo as you go, as you get kills. And not only just that, there are also resupply stations on every map and you can actually resupply this as well. Or if you guys are actually not wanting to do that as well, there's a thing called an assault pack. And honestly, you can get unlimited amount of resupplies off of this and it gives you two extra rounds as well. Moving on to the next part of the camos. Um, you get 50 equipment, score streaks, or vehicles. All this really is is if you see a uh, trophy system because it shoots past a trophy system. If you see a field mic, if you see a proximity mine, if you see a RCXD sentry gun, it one-shots all of those, and that counts towards this. Not only just that, in fire team, dirty bomb, you can actually destroy vehicles, and that will count towards this as well. Moving on to the shoot and kill 50 enemies taking cover behind you or from you. This is also a really confusing one to people, but all it is is if pretty much it's somebody's head glitching or capturing an objective and you can't see them and you're shooting this at them, if you get the kill for it and you do not see them or all you see is their chest or head, you'll be credited for one kill going towards this objective. Moving on to the science camo. Now these are by far the hardest camos to get done. These camos are super, 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 super glitched out right now. And I'm telling you, I haven't even personally been able to get awarded my diamond camo yet because they're that glitched out. But in order to get this done, I know everybody is struggling with this. I was struggling about this. And honestly, I found the most simple way of doing this. You go to Fire Team Dirty Bomb. You go to the map Ruka. You cannot really do it on Alpine. Ruka is by far your best bet for this. Now, when you go to Ruka, all you're going to be doing the entire match is floating. The only thing you need to have on your class in order to make this successful is run Engineer. Engineer is the first perk that you get, so it's pretty simple, self-explanatory, stuff like that. Also, I would actually recommend running Spycraft as well because when people get counter UAVs, it slows you down. So run Spycraft, at least Scavenger and Engineer for this, and you'll have a happy time doing this. And once you have these perks on, you'll see on the map it highlights when somebody gets into a vehicle. It highlights when somebody puts down a sentry gun or a CXD. No matter what, you'll be able to see that on your map. So float the entire time. Wait for, uh, wait for somebody to grab a vehicle. Go and launch it. The only bad part about this is if somebody's running flat jacket, it counts as a hit marker. So you're going to be farming about this for, like, honestly, probably like a day or two. But I promise you this is the easiest way to go about that camo. Last but not least, you have your double kill medals. This one just comes along the way. If you're running hardcore, especially hardcore domination, you're going to be getting double kills like nonstop. So honestly, this one's really not a problem. But after you've all done that, man, I'm telling you, gold camo is just going to come really easily. It's going to be like a breeze. But like I said, it is glitching out the science camos. And once you restart your game, there will be a high percent chance of you having to redo that. So I would save those for last. But anyway, that does it for today's video. Make sure you guys do subscribe if you're right here once again. Watch once again, guys. Peace.